Welcome to the Art and Feminism Introductory Lesson Plan. This is the first of three videos that will help you get started editing articles on Wikipedia. In this series, we're going to learn how to make a simple edit to a live page on Wikipedia. First, we'll talk a little bit about the gender gap on Wikipedia and why we're doing this project. Then we'll learn about user pages and how to use your sandbox to make future edits. We're also going to learn how to put citations into articles on Wikipedia. Finally, we'll leave you with some best practices as you go forward editing Wikipedia. You should already have a user account prior to watching this video, so today we'll cover the first three points you see on screen. After watching these videos, you should have the toolkit to get started editing articles on Wikipedia. The journey doesn't end here, though. There's a wealth of resources on Wikipedia that will help you broaden your skills as you begin editing. Art and Feminism is a campaign to improve coverage of women in the arts on Wikipedia. Less than 10% of Wikipedia's editors are women, and while the reasons for this are up for debate, the results are not. The content is skewed by lack of participation. Through training women to edit Wikipedia and organizing edit-a-thons committed to improving the coverage of women in the arts on Wikipedia, our goals are twofold and symbiotic, to close the gender gap in both content and participation on Wikipedia. Throughout the training presentation today, you'll want to keep the following tabs open in your browser. We'll refer to these links throughout the lesson, so please take a moment to open these links and remember to keep them open. Sometimes links on Wikipedia will open in the same browser tab as the page you're on. If you want to open a link in a new tab, please remember to right-click or control-click on a Mac and select Open Link in New Tab. Let's get started by orienting ourselves on a Wikipedia page. While most of you have probably seen a Wikipedia page before, let's take a closer look. At the top of the screen, you'll see three tabs you can select, Read, Edit, and View History. We're open to the Read page right now, which is how most of you have probably accessed Wikipedia articles in the past. At the top left, you'll notice two tabs, Article and Talk. You'll want to note that every page edit you make is publicly visible. Every page edit you make is also traceable to your user account. And talk pages are Wikipedia's version of peer review. There's also a lot of extra information available in the View History tab. and We're going to take a look at that now. The View History page will give you a complete history of every edit that has been made on that page since it was created. These are open and visible to the public, so feel free to navigate to a Wikipedia page if you're interested and take a look at the history. You can see the types of edits made on the page and all of the users who made those edits. So now that we've looked at past edits, let's talk about making your own edits. If you click Edit at the top right, right of your screen, it will open the Edit page. What you're looking at now is Wikitext Markup. Like HTML, Wikitext Markup is a markup language. But it's simpler than HTML, and in this video series, we're going to learn some of the basics. On the lesson plan, there are resources for learning how to write in Wikitext markup as well, and on screen, you can see some shortcuts from and then the edit page. Before we make some edits, let's talk about a few more best practices. Once you've created an edit, it's good etiquette to add a summary of your edits. This could be as simple as entering added citation. The summary will appear on the history page for other users to easily assess. If you've made a minor change, like fixing a spelling or grammatical error, you can check the box, this is a minor edit. When you're entering your edits, it's also best practice to use the Show Preview button. This will allow you to see how your edits will appear on the page before you actually save them. And this is particularly helpful when you're still learning about Wikitext markup. Now I'm going to briefly demo making a simple edit to a Wikipedia page. Please follow along, and in the next video we'll learn how to make edits to your user page and sandbox before you really get into editing. So I'm open now to Chris Krause's Wikipedia page. You'll notice that there are a couple of different kinds of links on screen. There are blue links that link to Wikipedia articles. There are also red links that link to articles that don't yet exist on Wikipedia. And if we scroll all the way down to the References section at the bottom of the screen, we'll notice that there are also links that link out of Wikipedia to external websites. So 
So I'm going to go up to the top again and I'm going to edit and I can select edit at the top of my screen like I showed you before. But I actually know where I want to edit. I want to add a wiki link to Dick Hebdige because I know he has a Wikipedia page. So I'm going to select edit here in this work section and this will bring me to my edit page. Now we're looking at the wiki text markup. And I'm going to navigate to the part of the text that I want to edit. And I'm going to add two brackets, and this will link out to Dick Hebdige's Wikipedia page. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to enter an edit summary here, letting other users know what edit I made to this page. And I'm going to click Show Preview. And this is going to show me that I'm looking at a preview and it's going to show me where my change has been made. And if I'm happy with the change, I can scroll back down and select Save Page. This is letting me know that my edit was saved. And if I look back up on the original page, you'll see where that change has been made. Thank you so much for watching this first video, and please continue on to the second video where you'll learn more about Wikitext markup and how to edit your user page.